I'm gonna show you some of my favorite spots in downtown Los Angeles for you to do photo shoots, video shoots, film shoots. They are free, but I'm gonna tell you the pros and cons of each one, how to get in there, how to get out, how to keep my name out of your mouth so I don't get in trouble. And then also I realized I know a bunch of places, so this is going to be a series. I also thought I was gonna drive to some places. I thought I was gonna like do the Uber or the Lime scooters or the Bird scooters. I didn't have to, I could walk to all of them. Let's go first with St. Vincent's Court, the pro, the con, and my overall thought of it. The pro of St. Vincent Court is that it's Europe in a very tchotchke kind of way. It's like if you imagine like a fake European village backdrop, this is what it would be. It's no longer European shops. I mean, there's an Italian one, pizza. There's a lot of like Iranian kebab places and stuff in a barber shop. The cool thing is, is that they're used to a lot of people coming and photographing there. People are very nice. And then also there's a really big skylight. So if you want to look up, if you want to have a beautiful car there, you want something very ominous and you want the face to be kind of shady, but light on top, that's a great place. You can also go there at night, set up some amazing LED lights and get a really cool alley if you get it wet. Or if you go there when it's raining, perfection. And I shot, I think for Ferrari clothing with Taylor Zafar Perez, I shot him there. Now the con of this, I think one of the worst things on this planet is rats or mice. I just can't tell you how much they bother me. There are a lot of rats and that's obvious with the number of rat traps that you see every five feet. But you can get some unique looks that is different than everything else in downtown Los Angeles. Let's go to number two, which is very modern looking parking structure. You can see it from the outside like this. It is orange stripes and it's on the corner of 8th and Hope. This is the Joe's parking structure. You go there, they have this amazing spiral. You could go all the way up to seventh floor actually goes to ninth, but go to seventh floor, that's the best view, and then go to the first floor and shoot up too. So you shoot down, shoot up, wide angle lens, fisheye lens would work really well there. There were two girls there just doing some content for themselves and they told me that one of the guys from BTS was shooting his Calvin Klein campaign there. So if it's good enough for BTS, it's good enough for Calvin Klein, my friend, it is good enough for you and I on the corner of 8th and Hill in downtown Los Angeles. You'll wait on the corner, okay? So then you will enter right through that area right there. You're gonna come in here and go right into there. Obviously the car goes right there. So it's very orange. You know that if you hit up a very orange hallway, you're in the right spot. Now when you go there, take your car, put all your gear in your car. The pro is that it's really cool, it's accessible, it's safe. The con is they have cameras everywhere and they're probably gonna kick you out. I went on a Sunday, the, probably the least popular day. So I was able to get in and get out with, without being interrupted, but I was interrupted once there before on a shoot, an upcoming YouTube video. After that, you go down on Hill Street. Remember, we're on Hill and 8th. We walk one block to Hill and 9th and we find the perfect building that you would normally never pay attention to called Athena Parking. The entrance to this is off of 9th Street. Our next one after the bus moves is gonna be this parking structure. I will show you actually a photograph of Taylor Zahar Perez that I photographed here. This also is on the corner of Hill and 9th. It's literally one block down from the other parking structure. So we'll go there and then I'm gonna show you what's up. Athena Parking, okay? So it is right next to this Eastern Pacific building. I don't know if it's called Eastern Pacific. It's that Johnny Depp building that people know. And then it goes Athena. So you're gonna walk in and I don't trust no elevators in this building. So we're going to go up. I spent the most amount of time here. This is where every floor is different. Even the spiral for the car to go in and out, it just, it's dirty in a really great way. The windows are on multiple sides. So you get direct sunlight, you get indirect sunlight. The windows are so dirty, so dirty, that they filter light beautifully and almost evenly. You can get some really good clean shots. I shot, again, Taylor here for Suspicious Antwerp. I think it's a Danish brand. We were in the balcony. I'm like, oh my God, the balcony's open, let's go. We went there, he was totally game to do it. And then you see the staircase and you can go up and you can go down without restrictions. You have to be safe, you have to use common sense. You get some really cool shots of the street and the tree and the windows and people. It's New York, kinda. Then you get out of that and you see another window on the hillside. Floor to ceiling windows, 
almost perfectly intact. You see me walking across it. This would be so good for like a yoga line, a fitness line. Like Ivy Park could shoot here when Beyonce did her stuff. You could do a model shoot. You could do a lookbook there. It's just a really cool spot that you can get some really good shots. Athletic gear, athleisure, headshots, fashion, documentary, music video. Let's go to the next spot, which was actually Broadway. The next spot is not a parking structure, but you get that old New York vibe in this street right here. It's where the Orpheum is, uh, Paul Smith, the Ace Theater, that cafe, everything. So this is often used for, let me not kill myself, New York City. Broadway is right down the street from the Athena parking lot, right the street right after Hill. Broadway is 180 degrees different than Hill in the sense that it's just so textured and old and beaten up and painted over and graffiti and chipped away and everything. The people are like that, the ground is like that, the buildings, the music, the everyone that walks around there is sort of like that and they expect that. I call Broadway the Venice Beach of Los Angeles. It's actually very known to mimic New York City, to get that New York vibe. And, and because Los Angeles is so much more film friendly than New York because of the weather, people go and they shoot there. There's always a commercial, always a music video or a fashion shoot going on on Broadway. My next stop which was a very familiar maybe like about five years ago do you remember there's a whole era where guys dressed in tight black jeans and then like a like a round cut in the front t-shirt and then they would have like camel color chelsea boots Alrighty, on the corner of olive and don't know street this is there is a spot that is really really popular two three years five years ago with instagrammers right People that would pose with their Subarus mainly and all black clothes and they would look up at the sky at night. This is Grand Avenue. This is where they all photographed it. And it's cool. It's where Grand restarts. A Grand goes underground and this is the back that feeds to all of the hotels. So you want to go here on a holiday or you want to go here on a Sunday, you'll get the clearest route. Now this Instagram spot underneath Grand, this is the pro of it, is that it's really cool. No one's really shot this a lot in the past couple of years. So it's coming back to being to being new again. The con of it is it's really hard to get a good clean shot of the street. If it rains, it's beautiful. Uh, direct overhead light, beautiful. At night, it could be beautiful if you lit it up nicely with some lighting. But you're just competing against a lot of box and cube trucks. That's ugly. That right there you can see is exactly on 4th and Grand. And you just got to be really careful. Go in there, shoot. I think the later at night, the better. But also it's a place in all places down to actually all places Los Angeles right now. I would take a buddy with me. It's just, it's an unsafe city. It's not, like you can still walk around, but it's not what it used to be. They just have to fix it up. The next one is deep inside Skid Row. You gotta go past Los Angeles Boulevard and then be around the corner of Wall Street and maybe 4th. And there's a lot, it's called the Toy District. And there's a lot of pinatas and just everything colorful. They, they, they even sung chickens on the street. Go there, make a left in that alley, right after the chickens, okay? Then you go down that alley, past the Abuelita at the taco stand, go to the end of that alley. There is a building there with a freight elevator with the metal gates in front of it. Listen to me carefully. Do not go there. I don't advise you to go there. I don't advise you to open that up. It was closed today, so I couldn't. I don't advise you to open that up during business hours to go in and take that to the top floor. I don't advise that. Then you don't take an extra flight of stairs after the elevator to the roof. 
because there I don't want you seeing the most spectacular sunset view of the Los Angeles skyline. Spectacular. I mean, they should be booking so many music videos there. Then I don't want you seeing the most incredible succulent garden you've ever seen. Rooftop garden. It's so beautiful. Beautiful statues there and everything. I shot my friend Karina there. I shot IM5 there. And if you do, I don't advise you to. Don't take the elevator down. Take the staircase. Just, just a good, swift, safe circle down. And then you're going to get off on Wall Street. Do this during daylight hours, during business hours. Do not do this after 5 or 6 p.m. I'm warning you, it is not a safe spot. Just get in, get your shot, and go. I hope this helps you. I'm going to do a whole series. But this, by the way, this is where everyone, this is where everyone like X's out. Don't X out, please. I want to tell you something important. Number one, this is going to become a series because I think there's so much to Southern California, Los Angeles, LA, Orange County that is going to become key for your filming and your photography. And I want to show you that. Okay. So subscribe to this channel. If you have questions about any locations, you want to complain about anything, do that in the comments. Also, please be safe. Wear long sleeve. Wear long pants. I didn't do any of those. Just be safe. If it looks uneven, if it looks unsafe, if it looks unhinged, unglued, unscrewed on, don't do it. If someone is giving you problems, don't get shot for the shot. I want you to be safe and subscribe and hit the bell. My name is Walid. I'll talk to you next time. Thank you so much.